This YouTuber, Mama Max, is known for hunting down very bad people. However, it turns out he himself might be one of the biggest liars on the platform, creating creepy pasta style videos on victim stories that might not even be real. So with that said, let's unpack this together. Alright everybody, welcome back to a new day of the Jerry and Curtis show. I know, I lost a bet, alright? This whole thing, we had an argument about it. It's now the Jerry and Curtis show, okay? But today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a pretty serious and strange topic to talk about, mainly by a YouTuber who briefly claims that he's doing God's work. This YouTuber YouTuber Mama Max is known for catching some very bad people who actually like children and he creates these kind of videos which to be honest with you as soon as I looked at them I thought I was on the dark web. It was only through a twist of fate and almost serendipitous connection through my sister that their voices found a conduit in me. But meanwhile on the surface he is a self-proclaimed pea hunter that puts very bad people away in prison. And fair play ladies and gentlemen that is absolutely brilliant. Last thing we need is these freaks running around in the world. But what if I told you ladies and gentlemen that his videos might actually be fake. Now, a while ago, he released a video talking about a suspect who was apparently a pedophilic supernatural werewolf god. What even is that? What is what? This can't be. This can't. Maybe I read it wrong. And basically, in this video, he spoke about a 16-year-old girl that was actually lured into a supernatural family of vampires. Yeah. That, that, that is actually true. He said that. And he named the suspect, who was called Camden Gerard Davis. And the victim's name was Shelby Spencer Slayton. As you can see, Spencer went missing in Texas. She's 16 years old. And she was missing from her grandmother's home on the 18th of March, 2016. And according to Mama Max, this is the image of the suspect. And might I remind you all, this is the only image of the suspect. Nothing else on the internet can be found about this man. The bloke in the image literally looks about 16 years old himself. But apparently, according to Mama Max, he's a grown-ass man. Definitely giving me vibes of a werewolf god. Now, you might be asking, what is the evidence supporting that this supernatural werewolf god has lured this 16-year-old girl? What's the evidence? behind that. What proves that Camden Gerard Davis has done these things? Well, nothing. There is no evidence. He didn't release any evidence. He didn't showcase anything. But the crazy thing is, ladies and gentlemen, there has been a statement from the alleged victim, and this is what she had to say. Yeah, is for Seema Davis. I would like to extend my most heartfelt apology that this is how you have to find all of this out. But the fact of the matter is, your son, Camden Gerard Davis, has been victimizing hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of minors. 16. He convinced me and lured me over state lines. I ran away. When I did make it to Atlanta on the bus, Camden got an Uber, came and picked me up, and brought me back to your house in Lilburn, Georgia. He mentally abused me, physically abused me, sexually abused me, and at even one point tried to kill me. So obviously, ladies and gentlemen, some very, very serious allegations. But you're telling me, right, that the only evidence to support these claims is this one video of this person calling out this Gerard's mother, claiming apparently that this werewolf god has victimized hundreds and hundreds of children. Now, you'd expect, ladies and gentlemen, that since this has been going on, you'd expect to see some sort of article, you know, some information about this werewolf god, but there's nothing. There's not a single article online talking about this person. Now, once again, I'm not saying this person does not exist, okay? He obviously exists somewhere. The point is whether or not the claims that are being made in this video is true or false. But once again, the evidence you have of this werewolf god is this statement in your video from Spencer. And the best part about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that Spencer and Mama Max kind of know each other. They have some sort of a relationship. I mean, cool, that's the evidence then, isn't it? That, that's, that's great evidence. That truly does show that this person is guilty. And we should start a cult and hunt this werewolf god down. Now, we are going to move back to this in a second, but I thought I'd make you aware that the video that contains all of this in information is a video titled Brainwash Your Favourite Influencers. Trigger warning. And in this video, he essentially tries to send his audience to spam bigger creators to try and get the big creators to cover his stories. To be honest, I find that quite ironic because what if these stories aren't even real? In the video, he called out PewDiePie. He said, Dear Felix. Or should I do it in his voice? Should I do it in the guy's voice? Maybe. Dear Felix, PewDiePie, as a new parent, you're undoubtedly experiencing the transform world. <laughs> <laughs> what 
is this? You're undoubtedly experiencing the transformative mechanisms that we would describe here. If you find the time, we would be honored if you could share our important message with your audience. I mean, that's just wild, isn't it? Using the fact that PewDiePie's just become a dad to peer pressure him in to make an, a video covering your stories. PewDiePie, you've just become a dad. Please make a video on this werewolf god that I may or may not have made up. Even sent his audience to spam Mr. Beast. Your philanthropic endeavors and impactful use of your platform have been both inspiring and aspirational for us. I believe that your influence could serve as a powerful catalyst. <laughs> <laughs> Serve as a powerful catalyst in the war I've been fighting uphill here on YouTube. We're not asking for your money, just your voice. Now I find it very bold to call out these YouTubers since you yourself have now come forward and said and said that your stories about these predators are fantasy and made up but the suspects themselves are real and you chasing after them is also real. Take a look at this clip. While the narratives were crafted in fiction, the predator pursuit was very much a reality. The narratives were crafted in fiction. <laughs> what? What is going on? What is that? Even? <laughs> what? Why does this guy sound like he's trying to be some sort of character from Death Note? But he claims, ladies and gentlemen, that the predators themselves are actually real and his pursuit of them is also real. This story about this werewolf god, is that part not true? But the guy himself is an actual predator? Did you just make the in-between story up? I mean, what was what he trying to tell us here? I mean, he's literally talking into the microphone like some sort of anime final boss. So good job, Mama Max. You claim that you crafted the stories in fiction and you're peer pressuring big youtubers to cover them stories that aren't real <laughs> but to get serious ladies and gentlemen he claims that the predators are actually real so why not just document him trying to catch them and put them away in prison why not just actually tell the stories it is oh i know why because it's not entertaining enough for youtube <laughs> well that makes total sense it's sad that he actually might be taking a real victim story and spinning it into some sort of Hollywood movie. But later on in the video, he went on to mention that apparently Camden may attempt to engage in drama-oriented media sources to spin the narrative in his favor, and also may even try spreading misinformation. I mean, maybe he would do that, except there's nothing about him on the internet, so looks like he hasn't even tried to engage with the media. <laughs> I mean, would a supernatural werewolf god even try to do that? Not just that, he also said this individual could potentially use his charisma and persuasive tactics to turn the public against this video and its creators. He even went as far as saying that this werewolf god might even try to make fake accounts to spin the narrative. So you can sort of see what Mama Max is trying to do here. He's trying to give himself a way out in case people eventually do start to call him out on it. I gotta be honest with you guys, right, confession. The werewolf god approached me, uses charisma and persuasive tactics to force everybody to make these videos, yeah. He got me, guys. He's actually right right there right now. You can't see him, right? But he's there. But assuming this is real, how would Mama Max have this information that this werewolf god tends to do these things? It sounds like Mama Max did some research and has discovered that this Camden person has previously used his tactics to twist narratives. Saying so, there must be some sort of article talking about it. There must be something, right? Well, let's, let's take a look together. Nope, nothing about this guy, just a Gerald Davis, who received a Freedom Medal in 2021 for dedicating himself to food distribution for the past seven years. Well, fucking hell, that doesn't sound like a werewolf god to me. In fact, the only thing that actually does pop up is this Mama Max video. How do you know he spins the narratives? How do you know he uses these persuasive tactics? I need to know. Jerry, Jerry, does this sound ridiculous? Jerry. Come on, Jerry. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen, he also left a little message for Camden Gerard Davis at the end of his video. Camden Gerard Davis. Leviathans are coming for you. What the fuck? The Leviathans are coming for him. The name Leviathan can refer to a variety of monstrous creatures, including sea serpent, a dragon, a snake, a crocodile, or a whale-like animal. Well, guys, I don't even think they're real things, all right? Two seconds. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Yeah, right, as if that fucking thing is going to be moving around. I mean, chances are it's probably going to come for me now. Shit. So, alright, guys, I've got my Glock 19 yet. Yeah! Come on, the fire thuns, bring it on, baby. Yeah! Mama Max, don't even think about sending the fire thuns on me. Me and Jerry's fucking locked and loaded. Jerry! 
Well, so, ladies and gentlemen, there was also another story that Mama Max had covered with a victim named Casey who was apparently odd and killed. This predator apparently lured Casey through a website known as IMVU. Now, the strange weird thing is, is that according to Mama Max, he somehow managed to find her YouTube channel with no videos listed. So he hired hackers to hack her YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, that's fucking brilliant, isn't it? She doesn't respond to any of my messages. But through an image search, we found a YouTube channel with a possible connection, simply named Casey, created back in 17 with zero videos, or rather, zero public videos. After a bit of ingenuity, one of my hackers managed to extract some unlisted uploads from the channel. But out of respect for her privacy and safety, I will not show them. So they hacked the victim's YouTube channel. I found a video that was titled, This is where you are worded me and killed me. And he claimed that to be true. He claimed that this is what happened. Casey was indeed murdered and R worded. So why on earth would you go on Discord a couple of months later and then claim that she's totally fine? I can't talk too much about Casey. I, uh, I don't know what I can and can't say. I will tell you that, yes, she's okay. So this is really weird, guys, the things that this Mama Max is covering. I mean, you know, you could be out there doing some real work, actually catching these predators and actually documenting the process of you, you know, trying to lure them in, catching them and taking them to prison. That would be a good thing. And as I mentioned earlier, it's even stranger to be covering these stories in this sort of Batman voice changer. Like, what the fuck is going on? It, it, am I still on planet Earth? Is this still a real place? I, I'm not too sure anymore. I mean, there are werewolf gods now and leviathans. Now, that's not the only thing everybody's upset about. Uh, there's also this other situation that happened, which we're about to discuss right now. Let's read this article. In November 2023, Mama Max began to face backlash after posting a video called The Greatest Cancellation of All Time. The, the thumbnail featured a YouTuber, Penguin Zero, otherwise known as Charlie, seemingly suggesting that he would expose him in some sort of way. Instead, the video highlighted how people should focus on more real-world issues like human trafficking instead of viral drama. In fact, do you want to know the real reason why Moist Critical was in the thumbnail? <laughs> it's because Charlie didn't respond to his DM. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Mama Max sent a message to Moist Critical, and because he didn't respond, he made a video called The Greatest Cancellation of All Time and put him in the thumbnail. Just kind of give off the illusion that, you know, he was going to cancel him. But really, it was just about a message that Moist Critical didn't respond to. I mean, that's brilliant. And Moist Critical didn't really want to talk about this because according to him, it actually rubbed him the wrong way. But the reason why Charlie didn't respond was because he had COVID at the time and he must have missed the message. And to push the situation even further, Mama Max has now changed from the whole kind of seductive Batman voice to the fucking Joker. Yeah. The guy went from trying to be a hero to sounding like a villain. Check this out. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. And I choose not to. <laughs> it's true, though. It, like, it's the truth. Like... I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. You here first, guys. Yeah, that's right. He is the pedo hunter with fucking leviathans behind him. So beware. So you can just see, ladies and gentlemen, this guy's kind of like some sort of weird bloke. I mean, he's very strange. I mean, he's, he's really, really strange. Just a really strange block. But why make these videos in the first place? It's almost like he's trying to turn it into like a Hollywood movie about like a victim story. Why not actually try and hunt down predators? Like actually go out there, you know, set up a whole thing and catch predators. Kind of like Chris Hansen done. Why not do those things? That's my advice to you. If you really want to come back from this, take some time to reevaluate yourself, reevaluate your life, think about the decisions you've made, and actually maybe try and set up this organization that actually catches predators. A few guys at home, if you're dealing with anything that's difficult, don't be afraid to speak to family or friends about it. If anything serious is going on, don't forget to actually speak your emotions. Don't keep them built up inside. Learn to speak to people who you trust because they'll be there for you and help you through it. With that said, comment down below what you thought of this video. You can watch some of my other videos here. See you all in the next one.